Good day, Will England with the Sprint Product Ambassadors. Today we're going to take a look at the LG G-Pad F2 and the shortcut keys at the bottom of the screen. Normally you're limited to just three shortcut keys, Back, Show All Apps, and Home. The LG series has had a nice set of features where you can configure these keys at the bottom of the screen. First we'll go into Settings, and then we'll go to Shortcut Keys, which I've pre-selected. Shortcut keys can be turned on or off. You can choose which ones. No, sorry, not shortcut keys. Uh, do, 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 do. Display. Home touch buttons. There we go. It's a little bit hidden. Even your product ambassadors get lost from time to time. You can edit the button combinations and even their color. Right now we have them set to white. We can turn them black. Or back to white. But what we really want to do is what combinations and permutations. They give you several uh, buttons to choose from and you can simply drag an icon to rearrange the home touch buttons. You can have up to five home touch buttons. I've got four right here. The triangle is back. The square with a pencil is screen capture for quick memo. The circle is to uh, bring back your home screen and if you press and hold that we'll show you that one in just a second and the square shows you all recent apps you also have Q slide which is their version of multitasking which we can drag in and drop we see it immediately appears and there's the notifications if you just can't be bothered to swipe down from the top you can tap the notification button and have it come down from the top since we can only have five we'll have to take one off and put notification there now you see we have notifications down at the bottom. I like having capture there more so than notification, and I've actually never used QSlide, so we'll take that out and just leave it at 4. Now we'll tap the circle to take us back to our home screen. One of the neat features of the circle, you might have seen those little gl glowing colored dots around it. We press and hold the circle, and boom! Hi. And then from here, it's listening. Oh, it can't reach Google at the moment. That's too bad. It's listening, and it also captures what's on your screen. So if there's something on your screen that you want to do a search for, it can search. Uh, go out and search up Google Assistant to find out more about that. We've got our back button, our screen capture button, which, boom, captures the exact screen as it's shown and gives you text and drawing tools. So I want to circle right now the calendar, so I choose the pen tool, and I choose, oh, bright yellow, and I wanted a nice fat circle, so we'll circle the calendar, because we're going to send this screenshot to our boss and say, look at your calendar, it's overdue, and then we hit check, and that saves it to either Quick Memo or Gallery, unless you've selected one of those as the default app. I'm going to save that to Quick Memo Plus, and boom, it's saved. The square shows you all of your recently used apps, from weather to smart world to quick memo. If you want to split screens and do two things at once, like have quick memo up taking notes on a video and running YouTube at the same time, that's what these double bars are for. We'll tap the double bars and now use multi window, select another app to show in the bottom half. So, okay, we'll tap down here and we'll tap next and then tap the multi-window button to finish it, which you see turned this thing into an equal sign. And we want to have YouTube up, because we're going to watch a video. Well, we have YouTube at the top, so we want quick memo at the bottom. And now we will take a new memo, and we're going to watch our home screen demo in the top. And we're going to take some notes down here in the bottom. So you can take notes while watching a video, or chat while watching a video, all sorts of things. And then when we're done with it, we hit the equal button at the bottom, and it splits everything back out. And then we can hit the equal button again, and boom, it exits out of split window mode. 
So that's how you customize the button combinations for the home touch buttons as well as use multitasking on the LG G-Pad F2 8.0. It has quite a bit of horsepower and quite a bit of memory so you can easily run two apps at once for both messaging and video, messaging and music, notes and video, all sorts of other things. Fantastic combination of features and functions on this basic tablet. Really pleased with the LG G-Pad F2 8.0. This is Will England from the Sprint Product Ambassadors signing off for today.